Yo, what's up, guys? It's Exynos here, and today I'm bringing you episode one of my Vegas Pro 12 tutorial. I have done a Vegas tutorial in the past, but I wanted to get a series going, and I wanted to have it all done in Vegas 12 instead of having like one episode in Vegas 10 and the rest in Vegas 12, and it would just all be weird. So I'm just gonna do this video. In this one, I'm going to go over opening Vegas, a couple basic UI things, importing videos, rendering videos, stuff like that. So let's just get started. So find your Vegas wherever your icon is at, or open up Start Menu and find it, and just launch the program, and then you get this splash window, Vegas opens up, ah, Windows 8, get out of here. And then you get stuff like this, this is the audio um, volume mixer, I'm just going to close that out, I don't need it. And then this would be your preview window for those that haven't used Vegas at all. This is something that you will use quite a lot. It is where whenever you're doing any form of editing, you will be able to preview it at least to an extent on this. Um, a lot of times it won't run, you know, at super amazing 60 frames preview, especially if you're running on best and full. Um, if you are running on a weaker computer, drop this down to anything from preview to draft. If you are doing editing and you have a really bad computer, I don't recommend going down to draft just because it's really, really bad quality. Preview is somewhat manageable, so that's what I used to use. I would recommend that. But, I mean, if you're using a 5-year-old computer and you're on Vegas 10, put it on draft if you have to. Um, yes. This would be your project media section. I don't really use this part a lot other than dragging my videos into here and then never worrying about it. File Explorer, this will allow you to go through and view files like you would normally do in your documents window or your Windows Explorer. So you can either do it this way to get, for example, a video in here or what I do is I go to file, import, media, drag this down, find whatever video I want to import, let's do this Black Ops one, and drag it in, and it is now part of the project. With Vegas 12, by the way, you can have it do this where it will take what the video's settings are already at and it'll match the project to that if you want. So for example, if I do yes, it'll auto make sure it's 1080p at 60 frames. And then you got this. So that's how you get your file into Vegas. And now you can scroll through and watch it. You can play parts of it, and I'm gonna turn the volume down. You can play parts of the video and you'll notice it's sort of framey right here. That's because I'm recording while opening Vegas. And yeah, pretty simple to use. If you just want to, for example, if you have an HD PVR and you want to do a render test, just throw it in here, click File, Render As. And in Vegas 12, I use, where's my setting I use? I use this one. Yes, very original name, Customized Template. So what I do is include video, and this is for main concept uh, AVC AAC. So to get to there, you would when you first go to this render settings thing, you get this screen. Find this one, open it up, and what I did was I just select selected like I think I selected Sony tablet 1080. No, I selected Internet HD 1080p. And I customize the template, and I'm just going to open up my settings. So you have 1080p, profile is main, frame rate is 30. Now, you do not ever need to render a video at 60 frames per second if it's going on YouTube. The reason for that is YouTube doesn't use 60 frames per second. So uploading a video at 60 frames does not help. Um, do not have allow source to adjust frame rate. Sometimes you can get some weird frame ish frame issues. Field order none. Pic pixel aspect ratio. I go with one. Number of reference frames four and yes. Constant bit rate. You can adjust this as you please. The higher the bit rate, the higher the file size. I know that with this current setting 
on a what 20 minute Minecraft video it's like 2 gigs and takes forever to upload as you can see I'm uploading right now I have 111 minutes left and I didn't feel like re-rendering it so I just let it go I'm just gonna leave when I have to and come back and it'll be all set so very very high um, bitrate will cause very very large file sizes um, I think for longer videos I would suggest dropping down to either that or even that you're not gonna get super good video quality for that so maybe that one um, it all depends on you and your upload speed and stuff and then in, in code mode um, most people that have like lower end computers are gonna want to use CPU only if you have a high-end computer that has like an NVIDIA graphics card or an AMD graphics card you're gonna want to use one of these options for NVIDIA you want to use CUDA because that's NVIDIA's thing for AMD you run OpenCL and it will run it'll render faster For audio you can change this as you please up the uh, sample rate up the audio quality system or format you want mp4 project you want best you probably don't want 3d on color space I just use default and then hit ok so it's the exact same thing as the previous one and then you title it so let's title this not actually going to render yeah and then we will render this out and it will start rendering and then depending on what you're doing with your computer and how fast it is it could take anywhere from a couple minutes if it's a short video to I know people that a 20 minute video would take them hours so it just depends on your computer um, I'm gonna cancel that though so that's it for this I wanted to make sure you guys knew the super basics first next episode I'll talk about how you can go about um, splitting parts out of videos so that like for example in this video for the first few seconds there's nothing going on it's just this I'll teach you how to cut stuff out like that I'll teach you how to um, speed up and slow down videos I'll teach you all of that stuff so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial on Vegas and you want to know more please subscribe that is all you guys goodbye